Hi everybody and welcome to this video series covering business continuity with Azure. Today we're going to be talking about backup. Backup is really just a copy of your data taken and stored somewhere else and that's in case something happens to your production environment. Be that someone just deleting a file or a folder by mistake or something more malicious happening. Now over my career I've seen backup solutions change and evolve. When I first started working in IT we were using physical tape drives so I was in charge of changing those tapes, of transporting those tapes to other locations so that we're protected against anything happening and eventually we started to see um, the, this backup solution change so it was starting to go with storage so rather than using tapes for the backup um, destination we were using storage and then eventually things started to change where we're now seeing people use cloud only solutions and use leverage cloud just as their backup solution or they're using a hybrid solution where some stuff's getting backed up on prem and other stuff is getting backed up in the cloud. Now I've been talking to a customer called Tailwind Traders and they're having some issues with their backup solution. They have different locations um, within their offices and they really need a reliable and consistent experience for their backup solution. Tailwind Traders have offices, as I said, in different locations. Their head office is in Scotland and they're still using tape drives for their backup solution. But the tape drives are starting to get really old now. They're starting to cause some issues, both the hardware's eating the tape sometimes or not doing what it needs to do in order to do the backup. So it's not a great experience for the company at the moment. And also in the Singapore office, they don't have any IT staff. So often the person in that office um, is forgetting to actually change the tapes or they've actually on a current occasion lose the tape. So backups are getting lost or missed and again it's not a great experience for them. Now this is Tailwind Traders current setup. As I said they had their head office in Scotland which is where the main IT infrastructure lives and the IT department and then they have offices in Dubai and Singapore which have a cut down version of that IT infrastructure um, as the offices are slightly smaller. Now They've asked me to come up with a solution to try and fix some of their backup problems. So I'm going to suggest that we actually utilize Azure Backup as the new way going forward, how they back up their solutions on-prem. So I'm suggesting Azure Backup for a few reasons. Now, Azure Backup is the native backup solution within Azure. It isn't just for cloud products though. It can help with backup on-prem as well, which is great because Tailwind traders have all their, their IT infrastructure on-prem at the moment. Azure Backup leverages Azure, um, which allows us to have unlimited scale and not think about things like maintenance and hardware replacements. Um, that's all taken care of by the Azure Data Center team. We also don't have to think about right now really the number or the amount of storage that we have to have. Now, often when you're, sca you're designing an on-prem backup solution, one of the first things you have to do is calculate how much backup storage you need so that you don't over-provision storage and you don't under-provision storage. We don't really need to think about that number as such. Yes, we do from a price point, but in terms of scalability, we don't because we only pay for the data that we use and as as the backup footprint grows, we can just scale out into the Azure um, platform and utilize that. We don't have to have that, that limit right now and understand where our growth is going to go to a full extent. Now we all know that malware, ransomware and intrusion attacks can affect live and backup systems and that's not great. However, Azure Backup has security features built into it that can help us guard against those attacks, both from a prevention, alerting and recovery standpoint. Azure Backup utilises Azure Storage as its storage location and because of that we can take advantage of the encryption that Azure Storage has. So at rest, Azure Storage encrypts everything at 256 bit um, AES encryption which is just one of the strongest block ciphers available. Also, when we're transporting our data from on-prem up into Azure, we'll be doing that over a secure connection as well. 
And like I said, the flexibility of Azure Backup is just great because we can have up to 9,999 recovery points per protected instance. So there's lots of scale here and we can cover what Tailwind traders need in terms of protection and, and compliance for some of their audits. So one of the first things that we want to do for this new solution and to implement it into Tailwind Traders infrastructure is actually to build a backup server within each of the, the locations. Now, each of these servers has been allocated some local storage and we'll be leveraging that so that we can do what's called a short term backup on those um, local servers. And that's really just to cover us for a number of days worth of backups on prem so that if the help desk get a phone call where someone's accidentally deleted files or folders, we can quickly pull them back. We don't have to use the internet connection or Azure to pull them back because we've got that local short term um, backup on prem. Once we've got the backup servers in place, the next thing we want to do is actually re create our Azure re uh, recovery services vaults. And that's where our backup data is going to reside within Azure. Now we've spun up three of these vaults and we've done that so that we can take advantage of the local data centers to our offices and also make sure that we're not transporting data outside of the country that the office lives in, in case of any compliance or regulatory reasons. So for the Scotland office, we're going to utilise the UK South data centre. For Dubai, we're going to use UAE North. For Singapore, we're going to use the Southeast Asia um, data centre as well. Now, each of these recovery services vaults have been configured to utilise something called GRS storage. Now, that's geo redundant storage. What that gives us is a copy um, within our chosen Azure data centre and also a copy within the secondary Azure data centre in that same country in case there are something happens to our primary or our chosen Azure data centre. And that's again just for another level of protection for Tailwind Traders um, data. So now that those recovery vaults are set up, we can actually start to look at connecting our backup servers to these recovery services vaults and setting up what servers are going to be protected, how often we're going to um, send data there and how long we want to keep all of that. So we can set up all those retention policies and recovery data points. This new solution allows Tailwind traders to scale so they can scale up in terms of backup data or even they can scale down quite easily again because we're only paying for what storage we use. The IT can manage it from all from Scotland. They can access this all remotely. They don't have to rely on the individuals in some of their branch offices to change tapes. All of that is done through Azure. They can manage that. And it's also secure, so meaning that their data is secure and um, safe when, from attackers or attacks. If you want to learn more, we have some great documentation on our official Microsoft Docs website. And if you head over to aka.ms slash BC Backup, you can read more about it and some of the information that I've talked about today. We also have a Microsoft Learn module where you can dive in and actually get some hands-on experience of using Azure Backup. And you can leverage that at aka.ms forward slash mslearn backup. Thank you for tuning in today and hopefully we'll catch you in another one of our video series.